Hello, welcome back to Freddy in the Shed. We've got another little model coming from Engine DIY. This is a steam model. Now, when they asked me to do a video, I said, yeah, send in something that's not too expensive. I know they do some very, very high-end models, but I know that's a bit too rich for most people that follow my channel. So this is a little steam spinner type model apparently. I've got no idea, I've not uh, even opened the box. It's been sitting upstairs for a few weeks now. Now someone said on a previous video when I've done these, well, you know, what does it do? What's the point? Well, the point is the pleasure that you're gonna have in building it. That's where the pleasure is with these models. It's the construction. Hopefully it's relatively simple to build. And it's just having a demonstration model that you can have on your shelf and someone might say, hey, granddad, what's that? And you can say, hey, young man, and bring it down. Hey, I, I built that. You know, it's just having that sort of pleasure. And it's the pleasure in building it. If you like building things like I do, it's just a challenge and the pleasure of building it. So, so this is the uh, picture then. It seems fairly basic. It seems to be like a saucer shaped cylinder. Um, we have a safety valve, looks like a mammoth type safety valve. And uh, age 14 and above, when running there could be hot, scalding, boiling water. It is an active live steam model of course. There we go, so that's another picture of the uh, model completed. Oh, there we go, and here's, here's our sort of, here's our diagram then of what we need to do. It seems relatively straightforward. What I like about these kits from Engine DIY is they're generally all metal. There's uh, really no plastic. So here we go. So normally the diet from Engine DIY, the quality, the build quality that you get for your money is very, very good. Like I say, this is all metal construction. Yeah, and here we go. This is, uh, yeah, once again, this is really nice actually. Lots of spacers. I suppose this is how it's going to work. It's going to be like a little mini boiler, isn't it? Uh, oh, okay, some restrictors there. Oh, I gotcha, look at that. And on these plates here, look, there's the uh, aperture. Can you see that? I wondered how the steam comes comes out, but it's obviously going to come out of the sides here. These are act as a gasket. And that's nicely machined. Can you see that? Really is, it really is nice quality. Just like things that you don't really get nowadays. Everything's made out of 3D printed plastic and I can't stand it. So that's that part of it. What else do we get? Uh, we, looks like we get like a bearing bush journal there. That looks like a ball bearing there. That's our safety valve. Again, very, I've got to open these up. Again, a quality. As I said to you, this is one of their cheaper models as well. I mean, we, we did the hit and miss engine, which I didn't actually ask for, they just sent it, which is very kind of them. And the quality was um, really, really good. And against the gain, hopefully you can see that on camera. I won't move in because I'll, I'll lose the focus, but that is really nice quality. So we get two Allen key wrenches, I say an M3 and M4 and no spanner so it looks like I'm going to need to get my own spanner that's fine set of uh, allen key bolts there what's you going to need them a gasket an o-ring another little uh, brass thing and then we have the base itself and this is quite heavy so this is metal this will be a, um, a tin, I might have to rip it to get into it. It's, it's going to be quite heavy because I think this thing's going to spin up quite some resolutions, revolutions when it's uh, constructed. Yeah, so there you go, that's the uh, bottom base. And I think I saw some rubber feet somewhere, yeah, some rubber feet, 3M rubber feet there. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want to bore you too much, and I do know that you like to shoot off and watch other things, so I'm going to sort of um, do a time lapse, I will speed it all up and hopefully if you did buy one of these kits you will still be able to follow you can always go on youtube by the way if you go to the little the little um cog on the side you can always slow slow the speed down down to um 0 0.25 so you could actually slow this down if you want into normal time i'm just going to sort of speed it up on time lapse and yeah let me get on let me build it and let's test it 
and see what it does. Out by the pine trees, past the old wooden fence. Fred's in his shed making new friends. With a CB radio and a smile so wide. He's talking about sex with a twinkle in his eye. From early in the morning Till the sun goes down He's broadcasting live For the folks in town The stories about truckers And tales on the road Fred's in the shed Where the magic gun falls there we go, it's all built. Um, took me about 35 minutes, but that included switching off the video camera and everything else. I've got to say, it is very nicely made. There's very little play in it, and you've got those two encased bearings there, so it spins really easy. I think this is gonna really go when I get some steam pressure in it. I suppose when you look at this, it would have been very much what they would have used way back when they were first um, inventing steam engines. It would have been a demonstration of steam power. I imagine probably at the top here, they would have had a couple of little pipes come off that were bent. Uh, just, to, just to show you know how you can harness the power of steam. And then there would have been a, perhaps something on this drive shaft. Uh, this would have driven something. And then of course steam engines evolved. So yeah, I mean, that's a demonstration piece. Even if you really didn't want to use it to, to uh, running, I mean, it's very nice, actually. It's very nice quality. Feels very nice. When it comes to the little burner here, it has got a little magnet inside, listen. And of course, that's for safety, because when you uh, put it onto the base here, the magnet holds it in place. Now, when it comes to the fuel, uh, it says use 95% alcohol. You want something that's clean burning if you're going to use this inside. Methylated spirits would be ideal. I might have some meths. If not, I do um, have some Coleman's very, very fine petrol, which is like barbecue, barbecue lighter fuel. I suppose you could run it with lighter fuel. Just be a little bit careful with petrol because it's quite obviously uh, flammable, isn't it? Right, let's, um, let's fill up the boiler first because the idea of putting slightly petrol flavoured water into the boiler isn't a great idea. So using deionized water here, which is what I use on my steam engines, and I'm uh, going to put in just, just over 10 millilitres. Screw down the safety valve. I mean, you shouldn't get a lot of pressure in here, hopefully. That seems to work. Right, next for the fuel. I think meths will probably be the best, I've got to be honest with you. Oh, one last thing before I do fire this up. The mechanical head in, or part of my brain, I just can't stand the thought of those open case bearings running without any oil so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna put a tiny couple of drops of oil on those bearings okay here we go quite a big flame now no idea how long this is going to take to warm up probably not long I assume that's a brass bowl, isn't it? So it's going to conduct the heat quite uh, quickly. Get quite a bit of soot from this uh, fuel, though. I think that's the wick more than the fuel, because the fuel burns um, quite clean. Oh, it's starting to turn. There she goes.
building up. Wow, that's really moving now. That is going at some resolution, revolutions per minute. Keep saying resolutions for some reason. To uh, switch it off there, my uh, flames were getting a little way out of control. Wow, that really shifted. Look at that, it's still going. Look, that was pretty cool. Still spinning away, so it just shows you the uh, power of steam. It smells nice as well. I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and uh, check it out. Have a look at uh, some of the other models they've got on their uh, website, by the way. Um, you can completely lose yourself on there. They've got some extremely high quality detailed models, quite expensive, but you know, oh boy, you could, <laughs> you could spend a fortune. As always, thumbs up, there it is, from Fred in the Shed. If you enjoyed the video, and you found it interesting, please hit me a thumbs up down below. I really would appreciate that. But as always, thank you for dropping by. More videos coming up, mostly radio, but more videos coming up in the future. And as always, please, please, please look after each other. Stay safe. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers.